The third session of the Tattersall's Autumn Horses in Training sale saw record turnover, topping the record set in 2017 with one day of the sale still to come. Naj Stud and Peter and Rostor Bloodstock were responsible for the purchase of the day's top price lot again on day three, swooping to secure the Judmont Farms consigned bolt away for 400,000 guineas. The three-year-old colt by Dubawi is out of four-time Grade 1 winner Proviso and has shown considerable promise with four wins from his nine starts so far for trainer Roger Charlton. Naj Stud, the operation owned by Prince Faisal, the son of King Khalid and grandson of Saudi ruler King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, have secured 12 horses so far this week. We, we went to see the horse set uh, and we went to see some of Judman's horses and we liked him especially. And we tried to buy another horse of theirs, but we didn't get involved in the end. But we thought Boltaway was a nice horse and we were delighted to get him. We thought maybe he was going to be a little less, but if you want a nice horse, you just have to go for him. At 400,000, going to sell this time at 400,000 last time and sold at 400,000. 400,000 buys. Thank you, Nigel Farm. Thank you, sir. Stock from the Judmont Farms draft continued to be popular, with a total of eight lots selling for over 800,000 guineas, including Invincible Spirit Colt Old Flame, who made 250,000 guineas. Trained by Rafe Beckett, the two-time winning three-year-old Colt was knocked down to Jason Singh, acting on behalf of Sydney-based Snowden Racing and Will Johnson Bloodstock, with a view to bringing the well-bred Colt down under to be syndicated by the father and son team of Peter and Paul Snowden. Naj Stud with Peter and Ross Doyle also signed for lot 1142 on the day, the Castle Bridge consigned Fundamental at a price of 240,000 guineas. The listed place colt raced in the colours of breeder Cheveley Park Stud for trainer John Gosden and is the produce of their dual Group 1 winning mare Integral from their foundation family of Echelon and Entrepreneur. Investment by Australian buyers again characterised the third session, with Johnny McKeever Bloodstock signing for two lots on behalf of Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott. King of Clubs, a son of Intello from the Meon Valley stud family of Bella Calora, and the Huey Morrison's recent top-notch performers Telecaster and Scirocco Star sold for 230,000 guineas. And 230,000 was the price also paid for a late wildcard entry in Youth Spirit. The 110-rated Colt won the Chester Vars this May before competing at the very highest level in two classics for his trainer, Andrew Balding. I am extremely happy, surprised and delighted. I thought he would cost more. I think we all felt he would cost more, but I'm thrilled to have got him. Really thrilled. Camelot does so well in Australia. Maybe not as big and scopey as some of the other ones, but that's Camelot. He gets these neat types and... Uh, I um, put my money on the line here and I'll say this horse will be a Group 1 horse in Australia. 230,000 guineas was the price also paid for the Ed Walker trained Matthew Flinders, who is also set to continue his career in Australia, having been snapped up by Stuart Bowman of Blandford Bloodstock on behalf of trainer Annabel Neesham. Matthew Flinders is an absolutely gorgeous horse. Um, he's a very easy horse to, to like. Uh, he's been one of those horses I've followed for a number of years now. He always has promised to be a group horse and his trainer probably you know, admitted to me today he probably should have run him in a few, uh, you know, a few group races along the way. Uh, he, was, he was trying to, trying to always win, win a big handicap with him and ne never really quite had his day but look he's going to go off to Australia where I think he'll really suit, loves firm ground, travels really well, um, that's where he's going to, we're going to really see his you know, full potential.